What is up everyone? In this video, I'm going to demonstrate a bypass method that turns off the iCloud Find My Phone feature linked to your device for the new iOS 14 Checkrate 0.11 supported devices, the iPhone 6S, 6S Plus, the iPhone SE, the fifth generation iPad, the iPad Air 2, the iPad Mini 4. So in this video, I'm also going to show you the different tools to remove the Find My Phone linked to that device. There are three tools that I'm going to be showing. The FMI Off tool, the Eye Removal Pro by IFBDZ and Apple Tech, and lastly the Eye Bypasser by Ramsey07 and show you which one worked best for me. Without ado, let's begin. So first thing is you're going to need to jailbreak your device with Checkring 0.11 if you are now on iOS 14. And if you are still on the iOS 13.8 or below, make sure that you use Checkring 10.2. So for this demonstration, I'm using the iPhone 6S and iOS 14. So I'm using Chakri version beta 0.11. So after a successful jailbreak, you can see that the phone is still disabled. It says try again in 15 minutes. Now we're going to head over and switch to our Windows PC so that we can test the tools that we've mentioned earlier. So first thing I have here, the FMI off tool, which is uh, by Dr. Mo version 1.0. Let's begin. Fortunately, it says iOS 14 0.1 is not supported for this tool. So let's cross this out. Next tool is the Eye Removal Pro, which is from Apple Tech 752 on IFPDZ. Let's open the file and now let's click on Request Removal Unlock Processing. Now you can see your device is compatible. Please contact IFPDZ and it's showing my serial number. So it seems that it's asking us to contact IFPDZ and Apple Tech. So this is the paid service, guys. This is the reason why we cannot proceed with the unlock process because we will have to make a payment after contacting them. So let's crush out this tool and next proceed to the next tool. But before we do that, let me show you here the free iCloud.co.uk website, um, a serial number checker where we can see the find my phone status of our device. So I'm doing it right now here. We enter our serial number and we run the check. So it may ask some verification, so just carry on with it to pass the verification. And here we go. You can see that it's an iPhone 6S 64 gig rose gold. We have the serial number. It shows the activation, um, the service coverage date, the coverage expiry, technical support status, coverage, and then the find my phone status. You can see that it's on, meaning to say it has the find my phone feature on and its device. So when you do a factory reset or restore this with iTunes, you will go through the activation setup and you'll be stuck with the iCloud activation. So to bypass that, we will have to remove this. And this is what we're going to show you with iRamZ iBypasser tool and how we're going to do that. So let's open the iBypasser tool. We have the latest version, which is the version 2.3. Uh, if you go to Ramsey's official website in Twitter, you can see there the links where you can download it. I'm going to be posting it down here on the screen as well. So 
So opening the file now. So as you can see here, we have the iPhone details and then on this side, we have the FMI off, FMI off feature, which is what we're gonna use in this video. So let's click that now and start. So it's now generating FMI token. So it's just gonna take less than a minute or probably a few seconds. It says removing iPhone 6S. And just allow it to continue the process. And there, there you go guys, it says operation completed, 6S, total devices removed one. So now, it's, so this message is telling us that we've successfully removed Find My Phone. So let's now go back to the IMEI Checker website and see if the Find My Phone feature has actually been removed. Let's refresh the page. So let's enter the serial number again. It's checking. There. Here we can see. Look at this, guys. It says, find my phone feature off. So now the status is off. This means that we can now restore or do a fresh factory reset on this device without having to go through the iCloud validation or the iCloud activation process. So there you have it. So I hope that video helps guys. So if you do like this video, don't forget to hit the subscribe button and like this video for more contents like this. Thank you for watching and see you again in the next video.